So that was one heartbreaking loss against Boston. It was so close at the end, but we blew it. Anyway, let's go check out some of the stats for the game. So, obviously, Mookie Betts was our number one player for the game, getting that player of the game award, hitting that one clutch home run that basically won it for them. That one run game. It was so tough to lose that one, but Colabello got our, our only double. Jose Batista and Devin Travis d home run. Uh, Batista and De Devin Travis got ribbies, and that's basically about it for our stats. So David Price, he pitched eight innings, allowing five hits, one earned run in the day, 1.05 ERA, and he struck out six. He played clutch. Whereas Craig Kimball came in, played, he pitched one inning, allowed one hit, one run, which is Jose Batista's clutch home run, but he struck out two for a 4.5 ERA. And then obviously O'Hara, I don't know how to say that, but he pitched one inning and striking out three to win the game with that save. But Dickey, for hours, he pitched six innings, allowing six hits, two earned runs a day on the day, and struck out three for a 6.3 ERA. Cecil came in pitching one innings, striking out two. The Loop came in pitching one innings, allowing two hits and striking out one. Uh, St Storm came in pitching one inning, allowing two hits and striking out one. And Osuna got the loss today, pitching one inning, allowing two hits, one run, which is the the run that won the game. Let's go and simulate the rest. I guess up until this Yankees series right here. So first we'll check out our stance in the AL East. Just see where we're at, where we're standing. So we're third in the AL East. Rays are number one with a four and three record. Red Sox are three and three. We're three and four. Orioles are two and four, and the Yankees are one and five. Even though they're playing, and Red Re even though Rodriguez is playing pretty good. So we'll check out our stats. We'll check out our stats right now, just to see where we're at. And where we're going. So player stats. Right now, so right now Donaldson has the most amount of hits for us this season with seven. He homered two twice and has four ribbies. To a .25 batting average, not too bad. And he leads us in ribbies. Jose Batista and Devin Travis all, both have four along with Donaldson. Edwin has one, Martin has one, and Pilar has one. Tulu has no ribbies, no home runs, three hits in the on the season. Colabella has four hits in the season. Ma Saunders has four. Coley has none, Smoke has none, Darwin Barney has none because they haven't batted. But Tulo, I think he has the lowest batting average. No, Chris, wait. Yeah, Tulo has the lowest batting average, .107. He's not playing well at all. But we can't really judge him at this point since I played two games. No, three games. And yeah, I just can't really judge it off that because I hit better with certain players. But let's go ahead and advance. I look, I'm pretty sure Lamp's good for the rest. So for a while at least. Our lineup seems decent, I guess. Martin's overall went down, I think. Or no, it's the same, it's the same, never mind. But it looks like Batista's overall 91. No, it's Donaldson, never mind. Batista's 88. So his went down, I don't know why. Oh, it's because of a record, damn. But he's playing like an all, he's playing at an all-star level, that's good. He hit that clutch home run, so I'm not too, I'm not too mad at Jose Batista. But let's go check out our calendar and go and simulate these games. So, I'll skip this Yankee series ball, the Boston one again. Baltimore, Oakland, Chicago, you get what I mean. So we'll go and simulate this entire Yankee, Yankees game, or this Yankee series, and see where we're at. So win the first one, lose the second one, lose the, the series ending one. So we'll go and check out the win. So we won 4 nothing against the Yankees, a shutout. There we go. And Ellsbury has had us. Let's check out our stats. So, Donaldson had 1 RBI, Edwin had 1 RBI, and Tulo hit 2. That's good, Edwin's, I mean, Tulo's getting RBIs, and that's what we need. For New York, for their pitching, Michael Panada pitched 6 innings, allowing 7 hits, 2 earned runs in the day, for a 2.7 ERA. And then, that's basically about it. But Estrada pitched a complete game, 9 innings, allowed 3 hits, and 0 earned runs for a 3.46 ERA on the season, I believe. Let's go and check out the second game, which we lost, unfortunately. So we lost 9 to 4 against the New York Yankees. We're in Toronto, but for the Yankees, so Brett Gardner, Alex Rodriguez, and Brian McCann hit, had doubles. Deshera, McCann, and Hicks all had home runs. Three home runs. That sucks. And Gardner, Beltron, Deshera had two. McCann had three, and Hicks had two ribbies all together. So for ours, Pilar had Pilar and Travis had doubles. Travis had two. Pilar had a triple, and Donaldson had a triple. Smoke homered, a Pilar, and Donaldson. Smoke had ribbies, Donaldson had two. 
and that's basically about it. But for New York for the pitching, Severino pitched seven innings, allowing nine hits, four earned runs in the day, and striking out two for a 3.85 ERA on the season. Uh, Batans came in, came in, pitched two innings, allowing one hit, and striking out three for a 6.7 ERA on the season. And for us, Hap came in. Hap was nom was on like the All Star nominations already, getting tons of votes because he pitched a complete a complete game. And I think he had 12 strikeouts in his first start, so that's good. But in this game, he unfortunately lost, pitching five innings, allowing eight hits, five earned runs, and five, striking out five for a 3.21 ERA on the season. Loop pitched one inning, allowing one hit, allowing one run, striking out two. Uh, Cecil came in, pitching one inning, allowing one hit, two runs. And Delabar came in, pitching two innings, allowing two hits, and one earned run on the day. So that's basically about it for that game. We kind of sucked. Nine to four is not good. They homered tons of times. Three hit home runs is not good, especially against the Yankees because they're a rival, a division rival. But next game, which we unfortunately lost, three to two, close one here in Toronto. But for the Yankees, Ellsbury had two doubles, Ellsbury had two ribbies, and McCann had one. And Castro's hit by a pitch. That's not really noteworthy, but who cares? But for ours, uh, Colabello and Darwin Barney had doubles. Barney had a triple, Tulowitzki homer, that's good. Tulowitzki had a ribby and Travis had a ribby. And that's basically about it for our, our batting. New York, Eovaldi, I don't know how to say that, but he pitched 6.2 innings, uh, allowing 7 hits, 1 run on the day, striking out 2 for a 2.84 ERA on the season. Pistano came in pitching 1 inning, allowing 1 hit. Miller came in pitching 0.1 inning, allowing 1 hit. And Chapman came in, getting the save, pitching one inning, allowing one hit and one earned run on the day. So for us, Sanchez, he pitched 5.2 innings, allowing nine hits, one earned run on the day, and striking out seven for a 2.25 ERA, not too bad. Loop came in with the loss, allowing, pitching one inning, allowing two hits, two earned runs on the day, pit for four ERA. And Osuna came in, pitching 2.1 innings, allowing, I guess, getting a strikeout, so that's good. But we unfortunately lost, so it's not good enough. So EL East again, we're third still for the 4-6 record, and Red Sox still lead the division. Not good. Let's check out, let's check out some of this batting averages and stuff, these top stats. So we have Michael Brantley, number one in batting average. I don't know if our, barely, in our, barely, barely any of the Blue Jays are in, in this except Devin Travis. 4.406 batting average, that's insanely good. He homered in the game I played, so he's not too bad of a player. Hits, Michael Brantley leads that. Uh, let's go to at bats, Roof Nader Door. Doubles, Kevin Kiermeyer. Triples, Marcus Seaman. And then Jose Altuve. Home runs, Nelson Cruz and Ro Rodriguez. And then Prince Fielder. Uh, ribbies, Cole Calhoun. Nori Aoki. Kevin Kiermeyer. Runs, Eric Hosmer. Uh, stolen bases, Leonis Martin. Go through that. Wins, Kevin Gosman. Two wins in the season. That's not too many. We can still catch up to that. Losses, Jose Quinn. Why are they even showing that? That doesn't make any sense. Saves, looks like Hudson Street. Six saves in the season, wow. Ah, uh, Jordan Zimmerman, ERA, with a zero ERA. Two, two games, two shutout games for Jordan Zimmerman, that's pretty good. And Dan the Van Norris, former Blue Jay, two wins, and has a .56, ERA. That's not too bad. But David Price, the man we faced, in the Boston game, one win uh, with a 1.06 ERA. That's insanely good for David Price. Four runs allowed. Don't even see that. Shutouts: Darren Zimmerman. Strikeouts: Carlos Car Car Carlos Carrasco. You Darvish. Complete games: Jordan Zimmerman. You had a few complete games. Jay Happ had one, and I believe Marco Estrada. There you go. One complete game. Innings pitch: You Darvish. Walks. We don't need to see this. This kind of boring stuff. There you go. Looks like the Red Sox place Hanley Ramirez on the trading block. What the heck? Hanley Ramirez. Why is he on the trading block? I just want to check him out. I'm not going to make any trades, but I just want to check him out. So Hanley Ramirez and the Red Sox. The Red Sox. There you are. And first base. See this? There you go. So 82 overall, 32 years old. He's on the trading block for some reason. Big Poppy's on there, but does that mean Big Poppy's playing first base or is Travis Shaw out there? I'm guessing Travis Shaw's out there because you cannot rely on Big Poppy for anything. A one speed in the game. Can't rely on him for that. But Hanley Ramirez is on the trading block. So that's something to keep in mind here. We have Chris Colabo at first base, but we can always upgrade with Hanley Ramirez. He's a great hitter 
and he could possibly upgrade our hitting woes that we have right now. So we're not hitting the ball enough. So let's go to the calendar and simulate the next season against Boston. So it looks like we'll be playing David Price again. Ari Dickey versus David Price. Another matchup. We'll go and sim through this game. These games. Win one, win two, and we we win three in the series. We won the series. Yes, finally we win a series here. That's good. So the first game against Boston. We're playing in Boston too. Facing the Green Monster too. Six to five win. Close one. Russell Martin hit a double. Edwin, Colabello, and Martin all homer. That's good. I want to see that. More homers the better because we're a power team you're supposed to be hitting home runs and for the Toronto Blue Jays we have Batista Donaldson and Edwin you should be homering constantly and that's what we're doing but Edwin had two RBIs Colabello had three and Martin had one so Colabello had a great game he had to be player of the game let's check out his stats Colabello Colabello there's three RBIs two hits and one run in the day that's pretty good for Chris Colabello but let's go check out the Red Sox. So Hanley Ramirez, Mookie Betts at doubles, Dustin Pedroia and Swihart all homered. Uh, Mookie Betts, Pedroia and Swihart all had ribbies, but Swihart at three. And that's basically about it for them. But Marcus Stroman, first win of the season. He's our ace. He pitched 8.1 innings, allowing seven hits, three earned runs on the day, striking out three for a 2.41 ERA on the season. If Osuna pitching zero, he didn't even get an out, but he had one hit and they took him out. Uh, Storm pitched 0.1 innings, allowing one hit and two earned runs in the day. 13.5 year rate for Storm, that's not good. But Floyd came in, Gavin Floyd came in, getting the save with pitching 0.1 inning, allowing nothing. As for Boston, Purcello came in, he lost the game, but he came in pitching five innings, allowing four hits, four earned runs on the day, and striking out three for 3.85 year rate in the season. Smith came in allowing pitching two innings, allowing two hits and one earned run, and Tazawa came in pitching two innings, allowing two hits and one earned run in the day. So we went against Boston that first game, but in the second game we won again. We're 9-1, to one. we dominated the Boston Red Sox. I want to see that. But in this game, Russell Martin had a double, Jose Batista and Tulu. Tulu had three home runs, the hat trick. There we go, Troy Tulowitzki finally waking up. And he had a great game. Batista, Edwin, and Tulo had ribbies. Tulo had six, and Devin Travis had one. But Tulo, probably his best game of the season by far, for sure. But which of the uh, Boston stats? So Bosch had a double. Ortiz homer. Ortiz had the only ribby on the day. Digi pitched nine innings, a sh complete shutout game, winning the game, and he allowed one eight hits, one earned run the day for a 3.78 ERA. He had an ERA over a 13, I think, before. But he played extremely well. His knuckleball is holding up and forming against the Boston Red Sox. But David Price got the loss. 1-1 one and one on the season, but he got the loss. Pitching 3.1 innings, allowing 10 hits, 7 earned runs, and striking out 4 for a 3.98 ERA. That knocks him out of that ERA category. Holy crap, he exploded against David Price. He knocked him out of the game in 3.1 innings. It's insane. But Kelly came in pitching 3.2 innings, allowing 2 hits and 1 earned run. And Vervaro came in pitching two innings, allowing one hit and one earned run in the day. So we dominated the Boston Red Sox in that game, but we unfortunately lost the series ending game against Clay Buckholtz. Estrada pitched the game. But let's so go check out this. So Travis Hill had a double. We didn't homer or get any RBIs, obviously. We lost 4 0 against the Boston Red Sox in the finale. But the Red Sox, they had Ramirez and Sandoval at doubles, Ramirez at two. Ortiz homered uh, for RBIs, Ramirez had one, Ortiz had two, and Sandoval had one. And that's about it. For our pitching, Estrada lost the game, obviously. He pitched six innings, logged five hits, three earned runs in the day, and striking out two for a 3.78 ERA on the season. Delbar came in pitching one inning, allowing two hits. Osuna came in pitching one inning, allowing two hits, one run, and that's about it. But Clay Buckholtz completed, pitched a complete game, nine innings, allowing five hits, and striking out nine for a .72 ERA in the season. Clay Buckholtz looking like an all-star so far, but his record so far in the season is two and one. So now we go on. We'll go check out the LEs first. So we're seven and seven, leading the division. The Rays are six and seven, the Red Sox six and seven, the Yankees four and eight, and the Orioles four and nine. This division is not really good, but the American League Central they're good. Tigers six and four. Angels 10 and 3 in the AL East, in the AL West. Mariners 6 9 and 3. This is the division to beat. But our division is not too good, and that's good because we need to make the playoffs. Clinch division, hopefully, this season. But go and simulate. I think our batting averages are fine. I'll go check out the stats quickly just to see where two little heads up. 
but Tulowitzki on fire ever since he, he started out horrible, but now bumped up his average to 0 0.263 ERA. Donaldson's on fire with a 0 .38 e, 0 0.37 ERA. Batista, 0.189 ERA, not doing too good so far. Edwin, not doing too good, and that's basically about it for the batting averages. Just... Let's get you go to player stats. So, Troy Tulowitzki, he's doing really well. 0 0.263 at batting average. Donaldson, 0.37. 1.370, Batista 0.189, not doing too good. Edwin 0.7, 1.75, and yeah, the bottom of the order and Edwin are pit playing too well. Devin Travis is playing well though. We need to bump him up. We need to bump Devin Travis up in the batting out, out, the batting order. There we go. So Devin Travis, bottom of the order, he's pitch, he's playing very well. Up him. Colbell's playing well. Should we bump Edwin down? I don't know if you really want to do that. We'll leave him where he is. He's 84 overall. He'll get better. Every player goes through the cold streaks in the season, and Edwin's going through that phase right now. So we'll leave him where he is. But we'll leave. We'll bump up Devin Travis ahead of Russell Martin and Michael Saunders. We'll leave Chris Colabella where he is, just because it's Chris Colabella and he does fine where he's at. But we'll go and check out. We'll have to go bump it up for every other one too. Every other, uh, every other lineup. He got bumped up Devin Travis up in the lineup because he's playing very well at second base and batting. So we'll go and simulate this series against Baltimore, another division game. I like these. It's really competitive. We win two in the series. We won the series. Another series won by the Toronto Blue Jays. But the first game that we won, we went 11 to 1. Dominated the Baltimore Orioles. But for stats, Tulo, I mean, yeah, Tulo and Pilar doubled. Batista, Edwin, and Colabella all homer. Tu Edwin and Carnacion had two home runs in that game. But Ribbies, Batista had one, Edwin had five, Colabella had three, and Martin had one. Uh, Travis was hit by a pitch, and that's about it. So Edwin playing very well. Two, two home runs, five RBIs in the day. He was he had four four runs, driving in four runs, two hits, and five ribbies in the day. He played very well. It's right when I said that Edwin is gonna break out of his cold streak, he did. I like that. Foreshadowing here, but Machado, uh, for the Orioles, it's, um, Manny Machado and Nolan Reimold had doubles, Trumbo had a ribby, and that's about it. So Sanchez completed, pitched a complete game, he's 2-0 in the season, he pitched 9 innings, allowing 5 hits, 1 run, and struck out 9 for a 1.71 ERA. But, I'll have to check out and see, hey never mind. So we'll go and check out Baltimore, so Jimenez lost the game, pitching 5 innings, allowing 5 hits, five, 4 runs. And striking out five for a five ERA. Worley came in pitching two innings, allowing four hits and four earned runs in the day. And Odern O'Day, the man that Batista hates, pitched two innings, allowing three hits, three earned runs in the day, and striking out one. So the Orioles sucked that game, but they unfortunately lost the next game. So Aaron Sanchez is playing very well early in the season. I like that. But for us, we lost the game 6-2 against the Orioles. Uh, Tulo and Devin Travis had doubles. Tulo had, I mean, uh, Devin Travis had two. Pilar and Travis had ribbies, and that's about it. For Baltimore, looks like Paredes had two doubles. Trumbo had a double. Hardy had one, and Rimel had one. David, Chris Davis homered. I wonder if Chris Davis is in the home run rankings right now. He's number one last year in home runs, so maybe he's going to be number one this season. Who knows? But Paredes, Davis, Trumbo, Hardy, and Rimel had ribbies. Hardy had two, and that's about it. So Strowman got the loss today. He's one and two in the season. He pitched 5.2 innings, allowing six hits, four run, four hit runs, and one earned run in the day. He pitched 2.25 innings, but he struck out 10 in 5.2 innings. That's crazy. He must have blew through the lineup. But Osuna pitched 1.1 inning, allowing one hit, one earned run, and had a 2.16 ERA in the season. Loop came in pitching one inning, allowing three hits, one earned run. So, what are all those earned run? Never mind. We'll go over to Baltimore. Gonzalez pitched five innings, allowing six hits, two earned runs, and, and striking out three. Givens got the win, pitch, pitching two innings, allowing one run. I mean, one hit and one. and striking out two. Matusas came in, pitching two innings, allowing two hits, and that's about it. So let's just go. I just go and check out this last game, and then we'll go and skip series without doing this in depth thing, because it would take way too long if we did this. But. For this game, we won 5-3 against the Baltimore Orioles. Uh, Pilar, Tulo, Donaldson, and Tolly had doubles. Uh, Pilar, Batista, Colabello, and Travis all had ribbies. And that's about it. Baltimore, Machado, and uh, Machado, Machado and jo Joseph had doubles. 
Jones and Davis homer, Jones and Davis and Hardy had ribbies, and that's about it. For Dickey, he got the win, 2-1 the season, allowing 9 hits, 3 earned runs in the day, striking out 4. Delbar came in, pitching 1 inning, nothing, and Osuna and Storen came in, but Storen got the save though. Gosman came in, uh, pitching 5 innings long, 7 hits, 4, 3 earned runs, and that's basically about it. So we'll go and check out, quickly check out our position in the AL East. We're 9 and 8 on the season, that's good. Let's go simulate some more series. So I'm pretty sure our lineups are good to go for the next few series. As Donaldson's playing well, Tulu's playing well, Chris Colabello's playing well, and Devin Travis is playing well. But Michael Saunders, do we have any left fielders to replace? We don't. So let's go to our, line, our roster quickly. So we don't really care about those, but left fielders. Do we have anyone to replace them? No, we don't. So Michael Saunders is struggling right now, base, uh, batting, and I don't know about the f fielding, I think he's doing well in the fielding, but batting not doing too well. Is there anyone to replace him? I doubt there is. Yeah, there's none. Okay, so we could leave Michael Saunders where he is right now, I think he's doing fine, because we're winning games, but we'll go and simulate some more series up, I guess we'll simulate up to the San Francisco game. All these games. Went three in a row right there against the White Sox. Go we'll view this. Trevor Rosenthal looks like he was traded, right, traded to the Red Sox, and the Red Sox, the Cardinals acquired Travis Shaw and Joe Kelly. So that's a big one. I don't know why they're acquiring a. I don't know why the Red Sox are even acquiring a closer. They have Craig Kimbrell. I don't know why they're doing that, but okay. We won three in a row against the Red White Sox, so we'll go and simulate up to here. There you go. So we won that series against the White Sox. Marlins are offering me a trade. This is nice. So Chris Colabello going to the the Orioles. No, going to the Marlins for Derek Dietrich. What kind of a what kind of a trade is that? Chris Colabello, where is he? 81 overall, 32 years old. He's a great first baseman. He's on fire right now. For the 69 overall, 26 year old second baseman Der Derek Dietrich. What kind of a crappy trade is that? That's terrible. No deal. Let's go and simulate up to the San Francisco game. Holy, we're winning games like crazy. Let's go check out our position in the AL East right now. We're 2013, 0.6 winning percentage. That's good. I like that. But Red Sox 15 and 17, Royals 14 and 19, Rays 13 and 17, and Yankees 12 and 18. Not doing too, not too doing, <laughs> not doing too bad in the season. But we'll go check out the scouting quickly. I think we have some scouts. No, I think they're still going. Yeah, I think they're fine right now. Should be good. We'll go to calendar and simulate. I guess we'll go and simulate in depth with this this uh, San Francisco game. There we go. We won three. Nice. We swept the San Francisco Giants. Their their pitching is a monster. But we won eight to four in the first game. And Colabello had a double. Donaldson homered. Donaldson has one RBI. Five RBIs in the day for Donaldson. Never mind. Edwin had one, and Michael Saunders had one. So Donaldson exploded offensively this game. I didn't really play well with him in game, but he's playing well out of the game. But holy, that's a lot of players that San Francisco. That's a lot of players that San Francisco had. But anyway, Duffy, Duffy Belt and Posey doubled. Duffy homered and Duffy had four RBIs. Hap got the win. He's five and two in the season, pitching one point seven point one innings, allowing seven hits and three earned runs. And Osuna, he didn't. Yeah, Osuna should have got the save, couldn't he? Yeah, I think he did. I don't know. But PV, he lost the game, pitching five innings, allowing three hits, four earned runs. And that's basically the game. Check out the next one quickly. I don't want to, I want to go through this quick. But Edwin Edwin got a double. Tulu, Donaldson, and Batista all homer. That's what I like to see. I like to see that. But uh, Ribbies, Tulu had two, Donaldson had three, and Edwin had two. Shouldn't have Batista had one? Okay, I guess Batista had one. If he homered, but okay. But let's go check out San Francisco. So, Span had a double, Posey and Belt all homered. Posey had two, Belt had two, and Tomlinson had one. Ribbies. But San Francisco, Laurent Kane pitched one. Kane pitched two innings, allowing eight hits, seven earned runs for a 3.37 ERA. Oh, he won the game 9, nine to 5. That's basically all we need to see. They exploded offensively early in the game, and that's how we won. I like to see that. We won the game, the last, the series finale, 4-2 against the San Francisco. 
Uh, Tulu and Pilar doubled. Tulu, Edwin, Martin, and Saunders all homered. So they all had RBIs. San Francisco, Pence homered, and Pence and Tomlinson had RBIs. Estrada got the win. Wait. Estrada pitched 6.1 innings, allowing 3 hits, 1 earned run. Luke got the win. He's 2 and 1 the season. He pitched 0.2 innings, allowing 2 hits, and that's about it. So that's a pretty easy win. Cecil pitched 1 inning. No Suna got the save, pitching 1 inning, allowing 1 hit and 1 run. But Bumgarner pitched 5.2 innings, allowing 4 hits, 1 earned run on the day. Uh, Strickland got the loss. He pitched 0 innings, allowing 1 hit. One earned run, and that's how we got the loss. It was kind of a close one, I guess. Four and two. We won three games in a row against San Francisco. We're playing well. Let's go look at our lineup just to see how it's doing. See if our players are on fire or not. But Troy Tulowitzki, looks like they moved him automatically up to the leadoff spot. I guess he's playing well off the leadoff spot, though. I don't know. Is this right? Should Tulowitzki be on the leadoff spot? He's playing well. 95 overall. I don't want to ruin that. I guess if it ain't broke, don't fix it. We won three in a row. But Pilar uh, batting second, T Donaldson three, Edwin four, Bat Batista at the five spot. Is that good? This doesn't seem right with this lineup. I don't know why. But Saunders somehow cold even though he's on fire. And Devin Travis back down to the lineup. Nah, he should be up here. Justin Sm I don't believe him. I'll bring this up. I don't know if it's right having Batista batting fifth though. It doesn't make sense. So I guess we can move this back down. Ah, uh, this is hard to do. Yeah, we'll leave Tula where he is. He's good. But we'll go and put Plar. He's not playing. Hmm. I don't know. We'll put Batista back as normal spot because he's not playing too well out of it. We'll leave Edwin there. I think that lineup is good. Just leave Tula at the leadoff spot though. He's playing well. So we'll change that for the rest of them, I guess. I guess we can go look at our starting rotation to see how it's going. So, Strowman's playing well. Estrada's playing good. Gotta we'll check out the records after, but Aaron Sanchez playing good. Gavin Floyd, not too bad. Jay Happ, he's on fire. So, you should probably go check out our stats right now quickly, just seeing where our pitchers are at, because we haven't looked at those. Position players, pitchers. So, Happ's 5 and 2 in the season. He's got a 3.12 ERA. Nice. But Strowman's 4 and 3 in the season with a. 3.72 ERA and Sanchez. He's 4 and 1 this season, having a 2.77 ERA. We'll balance it by ERAs. Let's go check out ERA. So, check this out. Hutch. I don't know why they have it there, but but Cecil 1.93 ERA. Loop 2.2. Sanchez 2.77. Nice. Chavez 3. Roberto Suna 3.1. Half 3.12. Strowman 3.72, and that's about it. Got Dicky though, 3.75. What does he have for his record? Dickey is 3-1. So Loops 2-1. Dickey's 3-1. Asuad is 3-3. Asanchez 4-1. And, and Marcus Strowman 4-3. And, and Jay Happ, number one pitcher, 5-2. Should we move him up in the rotation? I think we should. It's only right to do that. We'll move Sanchez up there. Ah, uh, this should be good. Should it? Yeah, it should be good. Have our number one, number two pitcher, number Top two pitchers at the top, and then have Estrada and Hap to balance it out, and then Gavin Floyd at the bottom. But look what you go. I was wondering why Chris Colabello was gone. I was wondering why, and it is. He's out with an MCL sprain, out three to four weeks. Damn, that's not good at all. The MCL sprain. Chris Colabello, one of our better players. Two home runs, 14 RBIs in the season. He's playing good. They got him out. That's not good enough. But we'll go check out quickly the. RBIs and stuff just on the season. So, hits. Tula's number one, Josh Donaldson, and then Edwin. Uh, RBIs. Josh Donaldson, 34 RBIs in the season, and Edwin, Batista, Troy Tulowitzki, and the DL'd Chris Colabello with 14. Batting average, Tula number one, 3.25, then Josh Donaldson, 3.12, Edwin, 3.08. He's getting better. He used to be cold. But then there's Don there's Colabello .299, playing very well, and they knocked him out. Batista, 2.37. I guess not too bad. Devin Travis, though, 2.86. I still feel it's wrong to have him that low in the lineup, but just that our play we have better players up at the top. Well, while we're going at this, let's go and check out the All-Star voting so far. Let's see what this is. So, starting pitching, we got Jose Quintana, number one. Then Mike Miner, Jordan Zimmerman. And then we'll go... 
but Quintana, 4-1 this season, 0.94 ERA. It's crazy. But Jay Happ's down that there with 133 votes, or 133,000 votes. And where else is the next pitcher? Aaron Sanchez, 104,000, not too bad. Then Marco Estrada, 93,000. I swear we're missing one more player. Mark Stroman, 71,000. Not too bad. And then Dickey. Dickey is all-star votes, 55,000. Not too bad, I guess. He's 3-1, so you gotta give him that. But is there any others? Doesn't look like it. So, uh, relief. We don't really need relief. Check that quickly. Closing pitcher. We don't really have closing pitchers up here. Mm, catcher. Is Russell Martin up here? He is. 77,000 votes. He's cold right now. He's gotta wake up. First base, Edwin number one, 278,000 votes. Edwin is number one in American League voting for All-Star. At first base, too. He's a DH, usually, but okay. Second base, yeah, Jose Altuve number one with his 216,000. And where's... There's gotta be Devin Travis. There he is. 122,000 votes for Devin Travis. Brett Lowry just 1,000 ahead of Devin Travis. Former Blue Jay Brett Lowry. He was good. But third base, Josh Donaldson, 283,000 votes for Josh, number one. Manny Machado, then Kyle Seeger, Todd Frazier, and then Evan, Evan Longoria. Shortstop, Troy Tulowitzki, number one, 265,000 votes. Carlos Correa, Sander Bogarts, Francisco Lindor. Left field, Michael Brantley. I doubt Michael Saunders will be nominated. Oh, he is. 78,000. Not too bad. But center field, Kevin Plar better up, be up here. Got Mike Trout, number one, obviously. Kevin Pillar, 173,000 votes, so he's going to be there, but he's not going to be starter for sure. Right field, Jose Batista, 180,000 votes. Not too bad. But that's about it. So, we'll go check out. So, it looks like J. Hab, number one for all star voting for our starting pitchers. Not too bad for that. We'll go and simulate up. We'll go and simulate these series up to this Yankees one. So, looks like we won the series against Tampa Bay. There you go, so we have a good, decent record. So, we won the first game against uh, Texas, and we lost two. Tampa, we won the series winning two and losing one. Minnesota, we won the series winning three and losing one, and that's about it. So just quickly check out our position in the AL East on this episode off. So, we're 29-17, .63 winning percentage, not too bad. Rays are below five, the rest of the teams are below 500, basically. The Orioles in last, but on this episode off right here, so make sure to like and subscribe for more Blue Jays franchise mode. Next episode is gonna be that Yankees series, so make sure to watch out for that one. But thanks for watching, and I will see you later.